Hi, I'm Joe. We've been farming this land for four generations. Hi, and I'm Pat. It's a big farm heading up into the hills and down to the river. We run over 5,000 sheep and breeding cows with a dairy unit and crops down on the flats. Keeps us busy, I can tell you. We don't mind people asking to come onto our land. There's good fishing and hunting here and it's a beautiful part of New Zealand. Yeah, and there are some really good walking tracks up into the forest too. But there's a right way and a wrong way to go about asking. You know, some people do the craziest things. Like a few months back when I was working up in the hill paddock, we are in the middle of lambing and there was a lot going on. This ute drives up the fence with three dogs barking their heads off in the back. The folks seemed decent enough. They wanted to ask about going to the river to do a bit of fishing, but I couldn't risk it. In lambing season you don't want dogs like that anywhere near the place. So instead I gave them my phone number and said to give me a call in a month or two when lambing was over. And I said they'd better leave the dogs behind next time. That reminds me of something that happened to me too. It was pretty early and I was just coming out to feed the chooks. They were fussing around me like they do, and suddenly this van rocks up in a cloud of dust with a group of men in it. They jumped out of the van and they all had rifles with them. It gave me a bit of a fright, and the chooks, they were flying everywhere, making a heck of a noise. Anyway, when things calmed down, it turned out they wanted to ask if they could do a bit of hunting up in the forest. They looked a bit sheepish at the chaos they'd caused. We agreed it was really bad timing, so we sorted out another day when it would work out better for everyone. And I told them to keep their guns locked in the van next time they came to my front door. There are some things that can help when people want to access their land. Like give us a phone call a few days ahead at least, or send us an email. Or even send us a letter. That way we can find out what you want, and get your phone number if we need to contact you. We also like to know the time and day you want to come so we can check if there's anything happening on the farm at that time. And we can also let you know about any hazards, or things you need to know about. It's all common sense really. By thinking ahead and contacting us with a bit of time to spare, it makes it easier and safer for everyone. There's lots of information on the website. It gives you ideas about ways to approach landowners like us if you want to access their land. Have a look. Goodbye for now.